Mm. Ah, thank you for joining me, ladies and gents. Sorry, catch me just looking at lots of people spreading lots of love about YouTube um, and the channel, which is great. If you have, that's fantastic, and thanks for that. Right, enough fluff and apple pie. We got to get some work done. So today's video, my lovely friends, is all about organising yourself and getting stuff done. Okay. So this doesn't have to relate specifically to art. Obviously, I'm an artist and what me and AD do, this is our living. But there are some very, very basic principles I want to talk to you about. And this is surrounding your efficiency, organising and getting things done, making the most out of your day. So we're going to whiz out into the gallery now because I'm always walking. I walk everywhere. I never stand still for five minutes. There's a good principle. Um, so I must just point out as well, just before we get going, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can still hear it. Yes, you can. We're having some work done on the mill uh, building today where, where we're based and all you can hear is uh, hammer drills and masonry drills and the clattering of scaffold poles and all kinds of stuff so it's very very just distracting but we've just got to get on so we can't let that be a, <laughs> a reason for not shooting a video today so if you can hear in the background a ton of noise i apologize but we're going to keep as focused as we possibly can okay so I'm going to give you now three, that's all, three tips on really getting super organized and super efficient and organizing your day. Okay, I've got a piece of paper in my hand, which I'm going to show you. So we're going to go with point one, ladies and gents. Point one is get a jobs list. I know it's not rocket science. It doesn't take a degree in anything to work out. You need to write down what it is you're going to do for the day. So I'm going to show you now, I'm coming to the camera, what mine is. And then I'll explain the principles behind it. Just my take on organising. You might have a different one, but I've done this now for 10 years and it works surprisingly well and we get a ridiculous amount of work done on a daily basis. Okay, so my job list. Principle number one, make it a maximum of nine tasks for the day. You can see on there, there's nothing sensitive on here. I've done a couple already. Um, the reason nine and not like 200 is, is that the more you put on there, it can get quite demotivating. So let's not do that. Let's just keep it sensible. Let's keep it real. Uh, put stuff on there. You've got a reasonable chance of actually doing. OK, second one uh, in the list principle is do it the night before, because if you do it the night before, then ultimately you've still got things in your head that you've either achieved or not achieved for the day, carry them over. It's ready for you to get going for the next day. You don't have to think about it the day after. Okay. So out of those nine tasks, I always prioritize three. So they're the ones that are in bold. So for instance, today, let me see if I can look at, I'll come in. Uh, so we've got to shoot videos. So um, we're doing the organizing video, which is what you're watching now. I'm going to have a rant and a rave about doing, <laughs> about the art business. That'll come later on. We've got to set up some wireless transmitters uh, for the wireless stream tomorrow evening and also got to do a dry run as well. So their priorities I might just like to point out that that's coming from Amazon and the lovely Amazon haven't delivered it yet. So here we are at five past 12 and I'm now having to reassess priorities for the day because the, the tech hasn't arrived. <laughs> OK, but it's definitely coming today. So we'll talk about that in a little while about reassessing your priorities. But crucially, as I've just alluded to now, staying flexible with your workload is a really smart thing to do. So, for instance, now I'm thinking, right, uh, at least two and a half of these jobs and these priorities I can't get done at the moment. So what else is next on the priority list that I can run until this stuff comes? You know, what can I reasonably do before I get all my tech delivered? OK, so I'm constantly reassessing this all the time. I think it's important as well to mention that you have to work all your jobs into your routine. So if you have childcare responsibilities or part time jobs, full time jobs, that kind of thing. Sure, I've done all that. We both have. We've both worked full time jobs. We understand that you've got to try and fit everything together. Family, home life, everything around what it is you're trying to do. So you can hopefully find pockets of time that you can then use these principles in and just use that time you've got available to make the most of it. That's really it. Um, so that's it for getting lists. So that's list for today. Nine jobs, three priorities, maybe do three in the morning, three in the afternoon and keep three as like the floaty ones that you can do. All right. Hope the noise isn't too bad for you because we're going to go in there in a second and it's really quite noisy. OK, so point number two be focused okay it's really 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 important to be focused i know it's really difficult to stay focused when all i can hear is 
the chattering of, uh, of drills and demolition going on around me. Be focused. You've got to deal with the interruptions, all right? You probably, your phone's going to go off. I don't know if you can switch it off. I'm terrible. I can never switch my phone off or even put it on silent, for goodness sake. Oh, peace and quiet. Can you hear that? That's brilliant. So you've got to deal with the interruptions as they come along. They're going to happen. That's life at the end of the day. But it shouldn't deviate you from where you're at with the work that you're trying to achieve. Okay, So you've just got to deal with that as it comes along. Um, stay on track. Do a little bit of multitasking if you can. I'll give you, for instance, a couple of the jobs now, uh, like doing the video. I'm also thinking about the next one. I'm queuing the next task up in my head. We'll do some canvas stretching soon. You know, and I'm going to do that, for instance, because I know I can stop that and look at the Amazon stuff when it comes in. So I'm constantly reassessing this all the time, but I'm staying absolutely focused on the jobs that I need to do. So no matter what's going on around you, the whole world could be caving in, but you've got to stay focused. You know, people will be vampires and suck the, the creativity and the energy and the efficiency out of you. Don't let them do it. Be ruthless. You've got to stick on course with what you're doing. So that's a little bit of self-discipline, okay? It's very, very important to keep reassessing your priorities all the time. Of course it is, and I can't overemphasize that. It's very, very noisy. Um, but crucially, you've got to make this time count for you. The time we've, you know, you and I have only got so much time, and it's the same time for you as it is for me. Uh, 24 hours in a day, that's it. And the balance is very difficult to achieve, but, you can get stuff done. You can get it done quite happily, but you've got to make the time count, all right? So don't let people impact on it. So this is all about staying focused, okay? Right, so the last point I'm gonna make, um, and that's, it's, it's really one thing to look after you in all this work, you know, when is there any time for you? I'll tell you when there's time for you. It's very important that if you're gonna work hard, that you give yourself a reward, okay? So, for instance, today we're gonna to do, we've decided to do three hours, three, four hours, literally straight the way through and then we're going to stop grab a bite to eat and literally just chill out for, for 30 35 minutes all right so that's my little reward to work towards you know i've got a nice lunch that i've brought in and i'm going to eat it and i'm really looking forward to that but i'm not going to touch that until i've achieved a certain amount of tasks and because i really really want my lunch quite badly especially at five past twelve i've still got like two hours to go of work to do that at two o'clock now i want to race through and get my work done. if i get my work done quicker Great, my reward comes quicker. So I'm actually really motivated. You know, AD and I were talking about, well, what is it that, that pushes you and drives you? It's this motivation for these points at which you can stop and enjoy something. So if you're gonna work, you've got to have something there to aim for. Today, there's lots of aims, but I really, really, I'm looking forward to my lunch because I love food. So why shouldn't that be a motivator for me? So. It's, it's important you make, you, you know, you, you make time for you in all this and have these small, you've got to have these small, tiny chain, sorry, these small little rewards that you pack into your days, all right? Now, set yourself a goal, give yourself a reward, perfect. You know, I can sympathise, you know, me and Adi have always had, you know, historically up until this point, you know, jobs we haven't really, really enjoyed. But even, uh, you know, when we're stuck in these environments, we have always been very efficient and ruthless and organised and all those kinds of principles in every job we've ever done. So, you know, no matter what situation you find yourself in, no matter how little time you have, you still have the ability to be organized and effective at what you do and to make those minutes and hours count for you. That's the important thing. So whatever your situation, you can apply these three principles and you will achieve results at the end of it. You'll get physical and mental jobs done. Okay. So let's just recap. Number one, get a list. We've talked about that. Number two, stay focused, stay the course. And number three, give yourself a reward at the end of it. That's our three tips for getting stuff done. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Sorry about all the noise going on. I hope that hasn't been too much of a distraction for you. It hopefully hasn't been for us. If you like the video, uh, then give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment and subscribe somewhere around here. There'll be another video you can go and click on because there's tons of really cool stuff coming through. And don't forget live streaming every Wednesday Half past six, GMT. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.